Hi guys, this is Duncan from Donksblog.com, and today we're going to make some chip tunes or 8-bit music. We're going to use a piece of free software called Bami Tracker, and this video is aimed at those of you who are just wanting to mess around with it, you're not really interested in making hardcore 8-bit remixes of songs with effects and things like that, this is just going to be a basic song. So as you can see the interface looks fairly confusing in Family Tracker, so let's go ahead and explain what these will do. On the top left you'll have an overview of your song, this contains all the frames of your song, so if I increase that you'll see there's 0, 0, 0 1 and 0, 02. Now in this box here is where you place your notes and what it will do if I just press the enter button is it will just use it in sequence and scroll down through each of the notes that you're going to place inside this grid. But notice as soon as it finishes this bit it goes on to the next one and as you'll see zero one one up there. So your overview of your songs here and the actual notes are down here. You'll see that there's a bunch of columns based on what you're playing in your song. So what we need to do now is add some instruments, very simple. Right click in this area here and click add. See new instrument? I'm going to create a bass line. Now I just note that you, I've actually changed my tempo to 126. It starts at 150 on default which is okay for intense 8-bit music but we're not really going to do that for this. I'm also going to change the octave down for this instrument anyway to 2. And this is going to allow me to do this. So if I press the C button on my keyboard and the B button, you'll hear that this is showing me what my column is sounding like or the triangle is sounding like so I can do that or I can right click and click edit on the instrument and you'll see we actually have a physical keyboard here and get an idea of what you're pressing that way so let's go ahead and lay some notes down I'm gonna press the record button this can also be done by pressing space and I'm gonna place that now what do these mean so D is the key that you're pressing as if you're pressing on a keyboard the key of D 2 is the octave which again we set earlier and 0, 0 references the instrument that you just created. So if you made another instrument, which you will do in a minute, that will be 0, 1, and I can then put that on another thing too. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly make a bass line. Watch me do this live. It's really quick to do something like this. Uh, you see it it stopped there because it's looping around. It's actually going on to the next one which I can change up but uh, I'm going to change this back to one frame just so it loops around properly. So that's how my bass line sounds. It's very easy, very basic and now it's time to do some drums. Now if I was to use this noise column and just let it have for example one note, so let's just choose one, that, and press enter that sounds terrible. That's because the note that we have here is continuously playing. We need to stop that from continuously playing otherwise it's uh, not very good to have if you're doing things like notes for things like songs so we just need to go ahead and change that. Very simple. Firstly I'm going to create a new instrument because that's actually using the first instrument we have. So we're going to change this to use one. I'm going to press the one there so it uses that and I'm going to edit this instrument. I'm going to choose the volume option here in the instrument settings and choose the size to be about 6 or 100 milliseconds, that's okay for me. And I'm pretty much setting the volume of this instrument. If I was to put them all full, it would be the equivalent of the other one, just continuously playing. But what I'm going to do is set these last three down to zero. So for half of the note, it's not going to play anything. So that will stop it. You can even get it to do, for example, this long, which we'll go into later. But uh, for the time being, we just want it to have half for the case of doing the drum. So you can change things like arpeggios here, pitch, high pitch, other things, but we're not going to delve into that. But now you'll hear it stopped. It's half a second long or half whatever we've set it long. So now I can experiment with other sounds. So yeah, that's fine. Let's just use those two. And if I just delete that, I can backspace to go up one, which is nice, and then delete as in delete key. So what we'll do is this, oops, let's just make sure we've got the right one, and sort of hearing it in slow motion. <laughs> this may go wrong. Okay, so
that's the bass line and the drum sorted. So all I'm gonna do is call that drums now, and I can go ahead and edit these whenever I need to. So we're now just gonna quickly do something in this area, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna make another one, and I'll call it Melody. And we just have a little experiment. This might sound absolutely rubbish, but I'm gonna go ahead and edit again, use that volume control. This time I'm gonna make it a little bit longer. So I'll do it to size nine. We'll have it up here, and then it'll stop and just at the end. So if I try this now, that's a decent length for what I need it for. Yeah, that's fine. So what we can then do is move the octave up one. So I can actually right click this if I wanted to and uh, choose transpose and I can increase the octave that way. Uh, but um, I'm just going to uh, change that to that. And that's pretty much all I'm going to do. So it's a little bit slightly off, but that's pretty much it. I'm just going to give you a very brief introduction. This is Family Tracker. You can change the way these sound and you can add more columns in by going to Module and Module Properties and simply choosing the Expansion Sound. There's a bunch of other ones you can add in here, but you'll see we've only got the NES channels only, and that's all we really need for a basic thing. And that pretty much covers it. It's just a simple song. Yeah. So thanks for watching this video, this is Family Tracker. as you can see, very easy to learn, easy to get started with. You can export your files as a WAV if you need to, or import MIDI's, or use it simply as text. I guess this is a good way, if you wish, to uh, try and get a ringtone going on your phone, or if you just want to play around with some 8-bit music. So thanks for watching this video, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like these videos, and thanks again.